here is my Jaguar S-Type 3 litre V6 engine. This engine is very closely related to the Ford Duratec V6. Um, in fact, most of it is the same. Um, stemming from a time when Jaguar owned Ford. That's the reason. Anyway, this has been in the car, it's been out of the car. In, out, in, out. And um, maybe one day, shake it all about. But at the moment, I just need to get everything finalised uh, in combination with the RX-8 gearbox, which you can see over here. And uh, indeed this thing, which is a... Oh, quite heavy to be honest. Which is a variable, variable length intake tract, uh, giving different amounts of torque at different engine speeds. I believe this is the valve that chooses between long inlets and short inlets. And we also have a so-called fly-by-wire um, motorised throttle. So there is no throttle pedal um, in the, sorry, there is no throttle cable uh, in the ordinary sense. So we need to work out how to get all that working. Uh, and this here is the original ECU that it came with. And for uh, quite a long time, I did try to see if I could find a way of using it. Um, massive problems involved in that due to the immobiliser and um, not having the original key that went with the car. Uh, not only that, it is for, designed for an automatic gearbox. So, in the end, having tried and had the lid off and looked at possible ways of reflashing it and all kinds of things, I gave up with this one and instead I have purchased this thing from Motorsport Electronics and uh, as you will see if I can find the right box it's a lot smaller which is nice, um, and it's got all the all the functions, but no immobiliser. Um, now, one of the things I need to do to use this, obviously, is to wire everything up because this is a general person, general person, general purpose engine ECU. Um, it needs to be told what the configuration is, number of cylinders, and what the throttle is, and all of that malarkey and it needs to be connected up to lock sensors and all the uh, manifold pressure stuff and all that nice um, business um, which is all ready nicely wired up to the engine. Here we have for example I think these are um, coil on plug uh, spark plugs basically with one coil per spark plug rather than having a, a, a distributor. Um, and the fuel rail is up here, the injectors are down there, and this is the one, two, three, four, five, six inlet tracts. So that's what I need to get up working. Now one of the reasons I took the car, took the engine out of the car rather, um, was because this wiring harness here, unfortunately I managed to trap down the back of the gearbox when I put it, put it in uh, last time, which was last summer, and uh, so I was never really able to work out how to connect the various bits together um, because I simply couldn't get at them. But I think I've now worked out that um, well, this is the engine harness, whereas this, this one here, which came with it, I think actually is for the automatic gearbox. So I think, I hope. I don't need this at all. That's sort of hope. Now this multi-pin plug here plugs in, I think, which way up it is. Well, it's slightly, the plug itself is slightly broken. Um, it plugs in there, and the if you were using it, the gearbox one plugs in next to it 
like that. And there's a third one somewhere that I haven't found. It may be lurking around here somewhere. But anyway, we're not using that. But one of the things I was wanting to do um, was actually to get this thing, because it's all very well plugging things in. Um, but if you can't find all the plugs, you might as well kind of not have any of them. So, because it was the harness is trapped down the back of the engine, uh, I couldn't really get at it all properly. So what I'm wanting to do now is to... What I'm wanting to do now is to see if I've got all the plugs that go on this thing, which some might well regard as a bit of a monstrosity. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. So, it does appear to be either of those. This could take some time. Well, okay, I've now got it um, in terms of the wires were, which were not continuously connected like the uh, uh, coil on plugs. They, were, they have always been there, I've never taken them off. So in terms of all the ones that have ever been removed, this is now twice as connected up as it was so uh, ten minutes ago, which is nice. Now, as you may have noticed, the Jaguar S-Type engine um, stroke Ford Eurotech V6 engine has got a lot of wires attached to it and uh, I spoke previously and uh, maybe slightly uh, handoffish way about the complexity of wiring up the engine to the car um, and the reason for that is because the engine is actually fully wired already the wiring harness is fully connected as you've seen I've found where all the plugs are connected everything up and I know where everything goes um, and the end of that wiring harness has a plug rather like this one but this is not the plug you're thinking of because this is actually the other side of that plug this was removed from the Jaguar ECU and in fact yes a bit of surgery and a slitting disc and all that reveals that we have a lot of pins which are remarkably suitable for wiring up to and by uh, doing that and using this plug which goes on to the new Motorsport Electronics ECU going together rather like that and by uh, doing that and using this plug which goes on to the new Motorsport Electronics ECU, having a short harness goes from one to the other, we have a conversion lead, or we will have a conversion lead, um, which converts uh, Motorsport Electronics speak to Jaguar speak. 
and it also means um, by using the um, the ECU side of the plug and thereby connecting up to the engine side of the plug in a standard form it means the the engine harness itself remains completely standard and that should um, make sure for, of reliability and also because it's a kind of bulkhead connector I anticipate being able to put this into the car bulkhead just have the engine connect up to one side and then obviously this side will have the uh, the new ECU connected to it so um, the key to be able to do that of course is knowing what pin is what and there's 60 of them in here so that's possibly quite a task and obviously I don't want to go around every part of the wiring harness by hand working out what they all do um, I could do that but I really don't want to um, but luckily the information about the uh, Jaguar S-Type electrical system is available online. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, just a glimpse of it, that's the beginning of the S-Type wiring harness um, explanation, if you like. And that explanation includes full wiring diagrams, pinouts, and on and on and on and on and so I've done investigation until I've been able to tabulate about um, been able to tabulate all the functions of all the pins um, checking they all line up that we've got everything we need and um, thereby knowing how to make this wiring converter that I need how to make it and that's the key to the next stage of the wiring sub-project. If you got as far as this, thanks very much for watching. And um, in case you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. That would be really encouraging for me. So catch you on the next one.